I really hope diamond. Or, no, I hope masters, but I'm expecting diamond. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day, guys. Chat, the reason for why I got plat 5 is because my mouse pad is starting to wear down, chat. Okay? My mouse pad is wearing down. Wash? Yeah, it needs to get washed. The mouse pad. Now I'm gonna go for the Sen. He's probably gonna come over here on the right side, right? Um, hold your main. So they're very split right now. I just have to watch out for the Roadhog. He's pretty much the main threat right now. Um, so I have to watch out for the Anna. The Anna just sleep, which means that I can go in on her now. I can engage on her. The only threat now will be Sen, which is main. Uh, he's over there right now, so. I can go over. Missed my post bomb on purpose and now I'm dying because I don't have any cooldowns. He would have died if Tracer didn't get nerfed though. 5.5 damage instead of 6 by the way, chat. Even though I do think that uh, 6 damage was too much and 5.5 is just perfect. I don't know. I, did, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know how it registers half a damage though. But she's asleep, so I have to watch out for that. Oh. So, since supports have such long cooldowns on their very valuable abilities, once Anna uses her sleep dart, it's going to be very easy for you to kill her. So they still have a Sen, and I don't need a, I don't need a season in order to know they have a Sen, because I can just see the orb on, uh, on his teammates. So I can't really do anything right now, because uh, enemy team has a lot of space. Um... Their sin is slowish because I can double bling onto him and kill him here. <gasps> you crazy sin. Remember, chat, the more aggressive you go, the easier it is to punish you. Right now, it could be, be easily punished. Hello, Anna. I double blink by accident. It's fine. So again, Sin is a very easy target for me. That's why if I find him, I can easily kill him. So it looks like the enemy team gave up now. Report them, please. Report who? Oh. This video only hits headshot. Oh, he tried to flick him through the. This guy, nah, this guy's actually hard cheating. Feels uh, bad, man. Let's hope we don't go against him again. Let's go, Rusa. Yo, Rusa, can you move, man? My Rusa is throwing! Oh, guys, this is gonna be longer than I, this is gonna be a longer day than I thought. Let's try. Okay, so we're down we're down a cheater and a thrower now. So now our luck is is bound to to be through the roof. Yeah, let's yeah, go. But, uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Push. There we go. Yeah. 
Alright, I guess that's the counter to them. It's, it's just press the speed boost button. Right now I'm gonna go up by Anna because she's closer to me than the Kriko. Therefore a bigger threat. Just push him the Risa. I really push that guy. I can't definitely can't push that. But right now we can get a lot of card time for free. Um so we're kinda getting staggered right now. So I'll go on card here. So right now I want to get high ground. I'll let them push the rest. No. So right now I want to kill the junk rat first because he can uh, he can uh, one shot people. So I'd rather focus on Junkrat than any of the supports there because right now the only threat okay. to us is them getting picks on us and killing uh, us one by one. Not so much their sustainability because we're up people in that fight. Um, yeah. Push in, push in, push in. Okay. We're pushing with this. Okay, no. Probably gonna focus Hogs because he doesn't have self heal. Hog without self heal is really vulnerable. Um, if he doesn't have any line of sight to play around either, so. Right there, the best target was the was the Roadhog, so. Get to focus him down. Right now, I just want to charge up my right click on the tank, preferably. But if I can't charge it up on the tank, I'll try and go for a squishy. But preferably on a tank, right? So I'm gonna charge up a right click and then I'm gonna go right side because I know squishies are gonna be close to me here. Which means I can try and go for a pick. Can get it though. But right now, their wrist is pushed up far, which means I cannot go right side because if I go right side, I'll be overextending. Uh, I see the send on the right side, especially after the ping, but also just because he was shooting. But then I have to go for him. Okay. Bonzo is pushed up right now. So I have to go punish him with my with my second DPS. Hog is 1 HP, so he's pretty much gonna die. And Sen is 1 HP either. Nice. Charge right clicks on the on the on the Roadhog. If anybody is trying to punish my second DPS up there, I can go up and help him. Uh, if I see fit, sometimes if their Roadhog is like right where my my spray is, it's probably not uh, good for me to slide through him to try and help my second DPS on high ground. Um, but right now, I know their Roadhog is left left side. So I can go for a pick on the right side. I have ult here, so they have Trank. So I'm gonna try and kill their Sin before I ult. Because if I can kill the Sin before I ult, or he can, use, I can force Trank. Then I can get a, a great value on my ult. I'm just getting started. I need this ends now. Okay, so he does have Trank. And if I got about point, I'll just kill you. I won't kill you. But I'll dodge the hook here. I think we can keep playing. The hog is 1 HP. So I'm dead now. This is officially over. So I know he's not going to come through that gate. Because if I put my E down here and I don't see a hit marker on my screen, I know nobody's coming, which is why I can put all my focus on this entrance right there. Because this didn't want to try and kill me. I kind of want that beat, but I was too late. No, he sees me. So us, them using a lot of ulcer is actually also good for us. 
taking a fight before the gate opens is actually beneficial because once the payload gets to the gate it it has to pause so the distance that they get on cart is very minimal after winning that one fight right there compared to winning a fight right here because they have to spend so much of the time waiting for the gate to open which is why uh, some teams back in the day used to take like pro teams used to try and take fights before the gate opened um they would uh they wouldn't get a lot of card space um by winning that one fight don't know what that guy's doing so right now uh, you definitely want to stay high ground so the only threat since they don't have a widowmaker would be a roadhog hook so every time roadhog pushes up all you do is fall back a little bit so you're out of line of sight from him from his hook so go out poke fall back again go out poke fall back again and every time he's like you know he's in hook range like right now you want to fall back we can't hope you go out and peek again a little bit so now the card has moved over here which gives me a reason to uh, push over to this bridge and play on this line of sight because they have to move card and it's way easier for me to see them on card if i'm standing up here than if i'm standing over here because there's a big wall right here so it's hard for me to see so that's why i wanted to rotate right there but now since nobody's going to be in cart for a bit i want to take this position because i want to poke him before they get to cart i hope i can place in um in diamond but i don't know if i'm gonna do that because we lost the two games one against a cheater like a blatant cheater he wasn't even trying to hide it and the second one we had a thrower so because of those two losses i don't know if i can go from plat to diamond so their sigma is was a little overextended so they have right click right now so i have to watch out but i also have right click so he has to watch out too uh -huh. so you can see if they have a right click a fully charged right click or at least like a lead somewhat lethal right click by the uh color on her gun because it'll like go low up it'll go low up on your on your screen But right now i'm just trying to take an aggressive position on him because i know that we're up one but since we killed the moira and we're up one it means that um you can take a more aggressive position with a lower chance of getting punished for it because you're already up one okay so the moira missed up okay so my mercy is with me right now he said i can go a little bit aggressive here I'm gonna use Winston's bubble here to play around, but I had low, too low health. Okay, so I have another ult coming up. They might have Vicer. Did they use Vicer? I actually can't remember. They don't have Bob for sure. So the only thing that I really have to worry about right now is Hook. Uh, and now Winston is dead, so. That don't matter. You're playing too aggressive, sir. just getting started so uh so their chat in order to win that fight right there if 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 you were in that if you were in this scenario guys all you have to do is just just kill all the enemies and uh and that's 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 pretty much it i need to pop another energy drink so, so again hit scan if you're playing a hit scan you want to stay high ground just chill up here you don't really have to do much but they have a widowmaker so i still gotta be careful which is why I want to do AD crowd spam right now. Because if I AD crowd spam, it's going to be way harder for the Widow to hit me. But I can still somewhat get uh, some information on where they are. Especially Widow. Because I want to I want to right click her right now. Uh, I really feel like right clicking her right now. But I'll go for that one instead. So I see Widow right now. So she's high ground right now. So she has to fall back into spawn because I body shot her. Or she's gonna stay out and die. 
they use Susu right now. Which means that uh, she can easily die now. And there's no savior for a hog or anything like that if they get anti. So where do I go for a grapple shot? So you need to watch out for that. You can go off the sound cue, but sometimes it's hard to react to the sound cue as fast as you have to. So looking back from time to time is also going to be good. So she's there. So I want to stay. I want to stay over here as much as possible because I have this big thing here blocking this line of sight. But if I play here, she can sometimes see me, right? Which is why I don't want to play there, but I want to stay over here as much as possible. She doesn't really have line of sight on me here, especially once I'm crouching. Oh, I got the bat. So the route is probably going to be high ground again. Because that's where she likes to chill out. Now I'm taking high ground again on my yellow roof. Uh, Winston should be on red roof. So, uh, yeah. That's why I'm on yellow roof right now. Because he should technically be on red roof all the time. But it is what it is. We still won. Alright. So I just want to take high ground right now and help my supports as well with the tracer tool. That's actually a big fleet. But if I just keep my supports alive or, or at least try and help them, they'll be able to survive against um, the tracer a lot. Because the last thing I want is my supports to um, die to a solo tracer running around in our back line. Went on assault now. I need to run as far as possible. Shoot him mid air because I... if I can hit him mid air, I'll be able to deal damage to him because I know he's for a fact that he's going to put down his bubble once he lands. So, for obvious reasons, when you're playing Winston, you jump, you don't want to bobble 99% of the time mid-air. You want to bobble once you hit the ground, right? Because then you can play around it, which is why if some if a monkey is really low, try and hit him like mid-jump. Like, if, preferably before he jumps, but you can also hit him mid-jump. Because then he, he's most likely not going to be putting down his bubble. Gotta watch out for Roadhog. We cannot play close to him. Remember, he'll one-shot us, chat. Alright, so just play around the bulb now here. Try and get a little bit of distance early on. That's a big pulse bomb. So they might try and rest it, especially since he's, she's Valky right now. Uh... No, she's not resting. Yeah, Mercy players tend to go for way um, riskier reses when she's Valking. Which is why uh, whenever you play Sojourn, or also Soldier for that matter, you want to save up your right click uh, to try and hit her midair. Um, so, so there, when I know she's Valking, I want to try and save my right click for as long as possible to try and see if I can hit her when she's resting. says full hp how also chat another thing is so you used to be rewarded for headshotting a sojourn but now you're not really rewarded for headshotting anymore so going for headshots is not really worth it anymore as sojourn so all my sojourn players out there you're way better off just trying to left click a squishy down to low hp and then finishing not finishing them off with a body shot oh, shit. 
And I can get some easy poke up in here. So Mora probably has to shift now. Uh, maybe not. But they use Susu to that shoot, so now I can ult. For her using Susu early gave me a window to uh, use my ult there. So. What you want to do uh, whenever you want to ult as soldier and even soldier <clears throat> is you want to look for an opportunity like them using cooldowns either you getting a pick or getting someone extremely low that gives you more space to do whatever you want to do but i am actually going to go soldier i want to play around the high ground and so we don't have a mercy pocket oh i feel like i'm going to get more value with the soldier here so as long as you don't risk that we might be able to cancel here support to Hogger Arch is dead, so a little bit of a disadvantage here, but we might still be able to pull it off. Okay, so they might just through. That's nice. Alright, we can walk in here. We have to watch out for Doomfist on the right. The guys here. They are not going to be able to res it. So we can kill Mercy here. So, Dermar doesn't have shift right now. My team with me? No, they fell back. I have to fall back with my team. go so instead of going right uh, right side high ground i want to go left side high ground because i don't have this big thing in the middle to block line of sight for people that i want to kill so i want to break this hurt as fast as possible to sure you actually do quite a lot of damage if they're being left alone so i can't see the mercy that doesn't matter If I was standing high ground, I would have to like stay on that ed ledge and it would just be... The only thing I have to worry about is Doomfist jumping me. Now then. Him jumping me with a fully charged right click that I just gave him. And is stunning me. Like that. That's pretty much what he wants to do. And the reason for why I know he wants to do that is because he did the exact same thing on defense. So that's just kind of like what his place all is. I'm dead here. Because I messed up my, uh, my jump. How am I missing this guy so much? I don't understand. I 
we finally hit him. What is happening? Oh my god. Alright, we'll kill the Doomfish, finally. Games are gonna start to become a slightly harder and, and harder to solo carry. Uh, especially without a Mercy Pocket. Because uh, we're getting against top 500 players now. Or at least GM players. So It's, uh, it's gonna start to become pretty tough. But we're also gonna get better teammates, so But still it's gonna be really hard. Especially if they also get a Smurf account or just a really good player. There's no logic in playing against a five already. It's going to artificially make it harder to climb. No, not really, because you're probably gonna gain more than you lose if you if I lose in these matches, right? So but the reason for why I'm being put in these games is because my MMR is much, much higher than my than my visual visual rank. Which means that I'll also gain a lot more and lose a lot less whenever I do lose and I and I do win, right? Okay, so I need to set up for an alt right here, but I'm not seeing any opportunity right now. If somebody can get low. Well, I kinda have to use it. No way I'm missing this guy so many times! No! And then I reload! I'm not gonna overextend. I'm not gonna overextend because I want to kill him. But I'm gonna overextend because I want to kill him. So even if we lose this last fight, it seems that they won't get it with time, which means that they won't have a push. So the worst thing that can happen is a draw. Um, but we still want to keep playing safe. So we want to stay as far as possible from Doomfist and, and walls, which is why if I stay here, the chance of me getting pushed into a wall is very low. And I'm also far away from Doomfist, so I'm not really that much of a he's not that much of a threat to me. I do think that I have to... I, I have a feeling that I'm going to keep getting this uh, May player on my team. It's either Tracer or Sojourn. But I do personally feel like it's easier to carry with Sojourn. Especially right now. Uh, wait, maybe not. Not off the nerves. Maybe Tracer's uh, pretty much up there. As soon as one HP. Oh, got Tranko. That's for me. He is. Just 
That was a really good nano, actually. So... I missed my right click. Oh, he's one. Put that down because I think Reaper's going to be pushing up on us. There's definitely going to be some games in, in, in that's going to be unwinnable. Um, but there's definitely some games where I shouldn't have won it. But I, I still do think my team that plays well. But he has no shift right now, so this gives me an opportunity to ult down. I still have to watch out for Hook. So he has Hook now, so I want to try and play around there as much as possible. But now he uses, I can play aggressive again. So I'm 1 HP, 1 shot from the Sin. Oh, I didn't think the, the Ash was going to shoot me. You don't really need an opening for Nano Sojourn. You don't really need to use the character. Nano here. This ends now. Get me. Let's kick this up a notch. Okay, so there were. I didn't see a single soul during that ult. Ooh. So someone's coming high ground right now, I think. And the reason why I knew someone was going high ground was because I saw someone go right side initially and I haven't seen that person for a long time, which means that a well, long time being a couple of seconds, which means that they're probably taking a position instead of uh, because if they weren't uh, spending time taking a position, they would be shooting. So and they weren't shooting. So the other option would be taking a position. I'm here, boy! Don't push it. Go away from it. Nice. GG. Four more wins for a new placement.